Sports Championship! Oh, oh, a double play wins it the three! Turn it to the end zone. What a catch! The Kayatons touchdown! Into the layup, goes back to Buzzer. Elijah wins it! The championship! You are looking at Redbird Arena in Bloomington Normal on the campus of Illinois State University, and we are set for Class 2A state semifinal volleyball action as St. Joe's Ogden takes on Breeze Modern Day. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Redbird Arena. I'm Scott Slocum here on the NFHS Network. Great matchup. We have a team that has seven state championships against a team that has never won one. Let's take a look at the keys to today's game. First of all, for Modern Day, youth is served. Their top two hitters are both Southmores, Tori Moheski with 311 kills and Riley Kleber with 163. Their third and fourth best kill tandem or killers, if you will, are both juniors. So, yeah, this is a very, very young team. And uphold the tradition. This school has seven state titles. When they get here, they usually win it. And that will be the case here this weekend where they're trying to do that. The keys as far as St. Joe Ogden is concerned, no nerves. They first got down here back in 2016. Their head coach, Abby McDonald, admitted we were nervous. She goes, not this time. We know what to expect. And balanced attack. And they have four girls that have over 155 kills. 155 for Lacey Kaiser, 299 for Kennedy Burnett, 251 for Caitlin Berry, and 160 for Peyton Valley. So use that balance to try to hold down this powerful Breeze Modern D team. And now for today's starting lineups, let's head over to the public address announcer, Ms. Dawn Davis.
The 2019 IHSA Volleyball Championships are brought to you by Country Financial. Preparing for your financial future doesn't have to be complicated. Take it one simple step at a time at takesimplesteps.com. Busey Bank. Your dream, our promise. And by Liuna, proud partner of the IHSA. For more information, visit liunacareers.org. Not only is Country Financial our insurance, but they treated us like family. Relationships are the single most important piece of the puzzle. We always ask this question, what is the right thing to do? All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. We're here at Redbird Arena, very evenly matched match up here in the state semifinals. St. Joe's Ogden, 36 and four, Breeze Modern Day, 30 and nine. And we are ready to go. The experts say this one gonna be close. We will see here. Modern Day in their navy blue uniforms to our left. And St. Joe's Ogden maroon and blue to our right. Breeze located just a few minutes east of the St. Louis metro area. St. Joe's almost smack dab in between Danville and Champaign, right on I-74. On a two hour trip from Breeze up I-55 to Redbird Arena. And about half that for St. Joe's here to Bloomington on I-74. We're set to go, St. Joe's Ogden will be serving from your right, and this will be Lacey Kaiser, and we are underway. Big crowds from both schools, and that'll be the opening points for the Spartans. 36 and four, their enrollment 467. The Lady Knights from modern day, the enrollment 408. And that'll be a kill, the first one for Riley Kleber. Again, the sophomores, the top hitters on both teams are sophomores. Top two hitters for modern day, sophomores. And Breeze, a very young team. The four top hitters, all are underclassmen. There's Riley Sudol, a 5'6 senior serving, 1-1. One, one. And a good start for Breeze. Got to get the nerves out of the way here early. St. Joe's looks a little tight. Modern day, not so much. Sue hold again. And we had a net violation. It's going to be called on Emily Bigger. She's the setter, the 5'7 senior, with 888 assists. That is a record, obviously. The setter for modern day, it's a 5'11 junior, Jesse Timmerman. She's a good one, too, with 898 assists. So both setters will go over 900 in this match today, more than likely. And there's the kill from the big right arm of Kennedy Burnett, the six-foot sophomore. That is her 300th kill of the year. 300 in one year. It's remarkable. There's that setter we were telling you about, Emily Bigger. She's a senior. And that is an ace for Bigger, her 55th ace, which is tops on the team.
A set from Timmerman. Good dig in the back. That'll be a point for modern day. Nice job of digging, though, by Riley Stahl, the defensive specialist for St. Joe Ogden. Here comes Timmerman. What numbers? 251 digs, 898 assists, 38 aces, 55 blocks, 131 kills. They go on the back set, and that is wide for Burnett. 5-3, modern day leads. Once again, this is Timmerman. Good serve. And St. Joe's Ogden just has to send this over. It's a block and it's out of bounds. Modern day with another point. And that lead now is three. Boy, good serve. That is another ace. And Timmerman is on fire, and a quick timeout taken by Abby McDonald in her 12th year as head coach of St. Joe Ogden with 315 wins, only 71 losses, and a second-place trophy back in 2016. You're watching live coverage of the 2019 IHSA Girls Volleyball Championships on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of IHSA championship action from live games to full game replays to highlights. It's all right here at nfhsnetwork.com slash IHSA. And today's game is also available for all subscribers via the mobile website. Log on to nfhsnetwork.com from your smartphone or tablet and view games live or replays from anywhere. 7-3, good starts for the Lady Knights who won their seventh regional championship in the last nine years. They beat Columbia down at the East Alton Regional. 25-14, 25-18. Before that, it was Roxanne in the regional semifinals. So they've had a lot of success, obviously. And there's a kill. First one for Caitlin Berry. Sub coming in for the Spartans. 24 will check in Peyton Valley, a 5'9 junior. Doesn't start because of the rotation, but is third on the team with 160 kills. Timmerman with a bump set, and that ball is hit long by Riley Kleber. Back-to-back -back points here for St. Joe's Ogden following the timeout. Kennedy Burnett with a serve from the left side. Timmerman is set in the middle and a dink over the top. Riley Kleber, the 5'9 sophomore middle, will get that kill. Lead grows back to three for Modern Day. Modern Day ranked 25th in the state of Illinois, according to Max Preps. That's the highest 1A or 2A ranking. All the other teams are either... 3A or 4A, so it tells you what the experts think of this team from Breeze. He chose needs a side out, and they get one. Peyton Valley. Here's the libero, Riley Stahl serving. That ball is out. St. Joe's Ogden is trailed by as many as four. They are within three now, or I'm sorry, within one now. That block is out of bounds off the hands of Caitlin Berry. Point for Modern Day. There's Tori Moheski leading K 
kill artist on this team with 311 on the air and 241 digs. She can play all over the place. And here she'll just send it over, but send it long. Into the game for St. Joe's Ogden will be Lindsay Aden. Lindsay's a 5'7 senior. That ball is out. That's the left-handed swing of Myla Helmkamp. You don't see that often. I always say left-handers have such an advantage in volleyball. 95% of the players swing with their right hand. It really does throw you off when you go up to block. Timmerman pushes it over. Stahl was there. And that'll be a lift. And that'll be a point for modern day. <laughs> and Gabby Jamrek will serve now. 5'9", senior. Think over the top. Nice job by Tanyas. I checked that. That was Lampy. Lampy diving all over the place. Good job by both Liberos. And a kill. Didn't get a lot on it, but Valley got it around the block. And that's a point for St. Joe's Ogden. And they're hanging around. St. Joe's Ogden has won 21 in a row. They started the year 10-3. and three. When I was talking to Coach McDonald yesterday, she said, we were just looking for a leader, someone to step up. And I said, well, who was it? She goes, really not any one person. The girls just finally realized that we need to start playing better. Most teams would be 10-3 and three and would be happy with that, but not St. Joe's Ogden with the talent that they possess. So they've reeled off 21 in a row. Their last loss was to St. Thomas More in Champaign back on September 26th. And they have tied this first set at 11. Serving is Kenley Taylor. Nice job by Timmerman playing that ball off the net. The ball is out. Kennedy Burnett tried to go down the line and hit it wide. So Modern Day back on top by one. As far as Modern Day is concerned, Chad Rocker is the head coach. So he's got his girls playing a killer schedule, playing against a lot of big schools. A lot of teams from out of state, Missouri, Kentucky. And that is a kill on the inside. So yeah, nine losses for Modern Day. Those losses this year to Oakville from St. Louis, Normal U High, Plainfield North. It's a big school in the Will County area. McCracken County out of Paducah, Kentucky. Belleville Altov, St. Louis, Core Jesu Academy. Altov again, Edwardsville, and Decatur St. Teresa at the QND tournament toward the tail end of the year. So, yeah, they've played a monster schedule, and the Rockers thinks that'll help them when they get down here. St. Joe's Ogden trailed by four early, and they have their first lead at 13-12. Kaiser serves a good one. A good block in the middle there from Trami. That ball is out. As Moheski had too much on it. And just like that, St. Joe Ogden has a two-point lead. And we're going to get the first time out for Coach Rockers. And modern day, they had things well in hand, but no longer that four-point lead is gone, and they trail by two. Hey, if you're in a hurry but want a fresh, affordable meal to serve your family or friends, Biagi's Pronto Packs make it easy to enjoy an authentic Italian meal at home or on the go. Perfectly sized to serve four to five people and starting at only $30, Pronto Packs include your choice of a pasta or two pizzas, with a house or Caesar salad and freshly baked bread with Biagi's butter for dipping. Or if you're planning a meal for a large group, just ask about their party pans. Sized for 8 to 12 guests and ready for pickup, 
within 24 hours advance notice. Six Illinois locations, Biagi's carryout is the perfect solution for your busy lifestyle. 14-12, St. Joe's Ogden. Leading Breeze Modern Day. When you want to talk about the capital of volleyball in the state of Illinois, how about Breeze? There's eight schools that feed into either Breeze Central or Modern Day. Breeze Central has three state titles. Modern Day has seven. That's remarkable for such a small area. Service error and a much needed point for the Lady Knights. And this will be Riley Sudo serving down one. Timmerman the set. Burnett's going to go right down the line. They sent a couple of blockers at her. Smart play by Kennedy Burnett. Now here's Bigger. School record holder in assists. She actually played on the 2016 second place team with her older sister. So she's back here. I guess she can one-up her sister, right? Well, what a big swing there from Mo Heskey. Well, she is only a sophomore and it's going to get better. 5'10", very athletic, jumps very well. Well, teams have been solid defensively, especially on serve-receive so far. We have one of the St. Joe's girls in the net. Point, 15-15 now. Back-to-back -back points for modern day. Breeze hitting 077. St. Joe's Ogden, 200 even. That ball going to hit the referee. Timmerman tried to get over there. Actually, Macy Beer should have let the ball go. Would have been out of bounds, but she wasn't quite sure where she was on the court. St. Joe's Ogden back on top by one. That ball hit right into the net by Beer. Third time now, St. Joe's Ogden has had a two-point lead. They led 14-12, 15-13, and now 17-15. This is Burnett serving. Punched across the net by Burnett nicely. Can't get in the way of that one. Moheski with a big hit. My word, does she hit it hard. Well, the last time Modern Day was here was in 2014. That's a four-year drought, which is rare for this school. But based on the youth that they have, I don't believe there's going to be another four-year drought for Coach Rockers. That was a kill down the line, but St. Joe's Ogden was in the net. So take away the kill for Peyton Valley and give the point and the serve to Modern Day. And we're tied at 17. Crucial point in the first set. Valley had it blocked. But no one was there to clean it up. Good effort from Tanyas, but she couldn't get there in time. So St. Joe's Ogden back on top. Riley Stahl, 5'9", senior defensive specialist serving. Timmerman goes in the middle and a kill. Sub coming in for modern day. That'll be number 13, Kennedy Barger, 5'10", junior. 81 kills this year, and that is a service ace for Tori Moheski and Breeze modern day on top by one now. They've scored four of the last five.
Timmerman goes to the lefty. Maya Hellcamp, but she finishes it off. Five of six is enough for Coach Abby McDonald, and she burns a timeout here with Breeze Modern Day leading 20 to 18. If you would like to purchase a DVD keepsake copy of today's event, click on the blue Get the DVD button directly under your event video player or click on the Buy a DVD button, the top right-hand corner of the NFHS Network website. You can also click on the Digital Copy button under the event video player to download a digital copy of the event right to your computer. We also want to remind you that high school sports fans, you'll never miss another game when you become a subscriber to the NFHS Network. You can watch live event coverage, game replays, highlights from high school sporting events from across America. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, nfhsnetwork.com. High school happens here. And hitting for modern day is up to 156 now. St. Joe's Ogden was at two earlier. They're down to 167. Oheski has six kills, hitting 231. A balance attack, as we told you, for St. Joe's Ogden. No one with more than three, and that's Peyton Valley hitting just 111. Oh, there's a kill. Quick set. Caitlin Berry makes quick work of that set. That stems the tie. It's a 5-1 to one run by Modern Day that gave him a two-point cushion. Now, Aiden back in the game. She's serving. High, soft serve. And two players ran into each other. Timmerman and Moheski bumped into each other. Neither could get to the ball. So we're tied at 20. Oh, what a hit. That was Kennedy Berger. She didn't even jump. And that was hit incredibly well. Set was off the net, and she said, you know what, I can still get something on this, and she did. 21-20 modern day, 22-20 modern day. It's a center kill for Timmerman. Boy, she is good, and is she competitive. If somebody's not doing something out there, she'll let them know. And her teammates listen to her. Both teams struggling to get their offense set up here on this point. They go to the middle. Sally Albers, a 5'11 junior. Modern day, 23-20. Her second biggest lead of the first set. Going to go in the middle. The outside. Good block up front there by Kaiser. That ball is out by about six inches. Set point 24-20 for modern day. The Lady Knights are about ready to go up one set to nothing. Hey, Joe Zogden, difficulty running their offense here at the end of the first set, and it cost them that first set. It was 20-20. Modern Day scored the last five points, and they march on to set number two, up one to nothing with that 25-20 win. You're watching IHSA Volleyball, the 2A semifinals from Redbird Arena on the NFHS Network. At Busey, our story centers around you, your goals, and your dreams. You dreamed of owning your first home. You partnered with us to customize a plan. You started a business. You trusted us to guide you through the ups and downs. You wanted to leave a legacy. You allowed us to bring your dreams to life. Thank you for partnering with us to make tomorrow's dreams today's reality. Busey, your dream, our promise. Well, everything we have is insured with Country Financial. Our home is insured with Country Financial. Our cars. All of our cars. 
all of our recreational vehicles. Our life is insured and our liability is with Country Financial. We keep in contact on a pretty regular basis and make sure that everything that they think they've got coverage for, they actually do. been the union labor for about 13 years and it's just never the same thing twice you know it's a lot of different things you're always doing different things i enjoy joining up union join the brotherhood have some backing for good wage good insurance retirement and one for the union i'll probably be i'm not sure where i would be at I'm Robert Paul and I work with La Luna at Local 362. My most memorable moment was when I played football in high school. I got the chance to start mid-season. We had a, a starting senior defensive end who injured his leg and he went down and I got the chance and I took it and started ever since. With that moment in uh, high school, it taught me ambition. I got a chance to you know, go to Chicago to work with the pipeline company, do their OQs and learn a little bit about them. I went there for a week uh, out of my own pocket and about two weeks after that I got a call and I've been working there ever since. Without high school sports I wouldn't have grown as much as I have in my career. One of the Biggest programs in the state of Illinois, Breeze Modern Day. You look at their numbers, they've been to state 23 times. They've won seven titles. You, you think, okay, those have to be records, right? No, Mother McCauley has both of those records with 26 appearances in state, 14 state championships. So, Mac still holds both of those records, but uh, Modern Day, in terms of appearances, not far behind, but still have a ways to go to catch Mother McCauley who's got 14 state championships. And for Coach Chad Rockers, he won his first state championship and his first appearance here as head coach back in 2011. It took his dad five times getting to state before he finally won a state championship. Of course, his dad, the legendary Fred Rockers. We'll have much more on him coming up in just a little bit. So modern day was down 18-17. to 17. And they scored eight of the last ten points, including the last five to run away 25-20 and pulled it within one set of advancing on to tomorrow afternoon's 2A state championship. It's either Rockford Lutheran or Decatur St. Teresa. It's a modern day to the right of your screen in the navy blue serving to the girls from St. Joe's Ogden on the left of your screen in the maroon jerseys. Good dig right off the bat here. See if St. Joe's can get back to running their offense, and they did. They went right outside on the left side to Kennedy Burnett, and she gets the kill as it was blocked out of bounds. Well, those last five or six points, they just didn't run anything, didn't get anything set up, had trouble receiving serves, difficulty passing, and it's easy to see why Breeze pulled ahead and eventually won by five. Good job with sticking out the right arm by Riley Stahl, the defensive specialist, to Keep this point alive. And Stahl can't punch this one up into the air. Goes through her hands. And that'll be a kill for Tori Moheski. Moheski with seven kills now. She's hitting about 250 as a team. Modern day hitting 227. St. Joe's Ogden 147. That ball hit the pin off the hand of Caitlin Berry. And those are the mistakes the Spartans can't make when they're down one set already. And that will be an ace. Boy, Timmerman is some kind of player. Just a junior, 5'11". She set the assist record last year, broke it this year and I'm sure we'll break it again next year that ball hit right down the line and that is in 
Well played there by Emily Bigger. Kennedy Burnett went over the 300 kill mark with a kill in the first set. That will be four hits. Ball never made it over the net. A couple of girls from modern day there to block, including Moheski, but ball never touched them. Hit the tape, bounced right back at St. Joe's Ogden. That'll be a point for modern day. That will be a kill, made it over. Even though Sally Albers was there, gave her a little bit too much room between the net made it over and then fell on her side so a point for the Spartans they're within one so Riley Stahl and another kill this time right up the middle was Tori Moheski that is number eight for her and checking in for the Lady Knights will be number 13 Kennedy Berger and serving will be Moheski and that is an ace Peyton Valley not able to handle it and we're going to get a quick timeout taken by Abby McDonald as she does not like what's happening here in the early going of set number two she's down one and trailing six to three You're watching live coverage of the 2019 IHSA Girls Volleyball Championships on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Illinois High School Championship action. From live games to full game replays to highlights, it's all right here for you. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA. Kind of a neat story, maybe a sad story, but... It's ending well. Anna Wensloff is number 35, a 5'7 senior, plays sparingly for St. Joe's Ogden, but St. Joe's Ogden feels lucky to have her around. Last year, Anna was dealing with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And she's healthy. She's on the team. She's playing. The team last year did a fundraiser, raised $13,000 for her. A great story. Happy to see her. The fact that she's doing well. And I love that her team rallied around her in a very difficult time. Another ace for Moheski. Things are getting serious now for St. Joe's Ogden. They're down by four. Quick set in the middle and a block. Sally Albers. Biggest lead of the second set. It's five. Boy, another block. This time, Helmkamp and Albers. And the Spartans are in trouble. This time, a dink over the top from Valley. Valley with the block. Boy, everything Tori Moheski does is just the right thing. Whether it's digging, whether it's her specialty killing that time, just a smart heads-up play. And that'll be a double hit. And it's now 11 to 3, Breeze Modern Day, and another timeout taken by Abby McDonald. Boy, if you're a Modern Day fan, you're going to want to listen to this. You're going to want to purchase a DVD keepsake of today's event, right? I mean, it's been impressive. Here's how you do that you click on the blue, hit the DVD button directly under your event video player, or you can click on the buy a DVD button on the top right hand corner of the NFHS Network website. You can also click the digital copy button 
under the event video player to download a digital copy of the event right to your computer. Eleven to three. Ouch. Quick start for Breeze Modern Day. You're just joining us. St. Joe's Ogden led Modern Day 18 to 17 in the first set. And it was an 8-2 run, including a 5-0 finishing run. When it was 20-20, they gave Modern Day the lead, and now there's no looking back. It's actually a 19-5 now run over the last set and a half. And that stems the tide nicely done by Caitlin Berry. Lindsay Aiden will serve. So many young kids that are playing on both of these rosters. It's good to see a senior out there getting a chance to play. Good take by Aiden. Oh, good coverage there from Kennedy Burnett. Ali sends it over. That ball is way long. Back-to-back -back points by the Spartans of Abby McDonald. Abby's from Hoopston, Illinois. She's got her teaching degree, didn't plan on coaching. Played her college volleyball at the University of Illinois Springfield. And once this job opened up, it wasn't too far from where she grew up. St. Joe's and Hoopston, not too far. Take her out one to I-74 and you'll run into it. She decided to coach, and I think she likes it now. She's won 315 games. I know she likes it now. 3 nothing run here for the Spartans. Trying to get back into this match. Oh, they're going to make it a 4 nothing run. Hey, the spark plug has been Lindsey Aiden who continue to serve, doing a nice job with digs and passes from the back row. That ball is just long. St. Joe's fans disagree with the call, but it was a good one. Good run, though. Four consecutive points. They're now serving as... Gabby Jamruck. And that will be an ace. Thirteen seven back to back points for modern day. And back in control, leading one set to nothing. Mulheski hit that ball into the net. A point for St. Joe's Ogden. Kenley Taylor, 5'7", senior, will serve. Burnett will get the kill. Kennedy Burnett, she's already closing in on the school kills record. In fact, she'll set that record sometime next year. Next year, she'll only be a junior. And her sister played on the 2016 team, so she can say that he didn't one-up me. You know how sisters are, and there's another kill. And Joe Zogden within three, just hanging around. Burnett will have to bump this over. Timmerman, quick set in the middle, and that was blocked. That was Burnett that got her hands on it. And she can't come up with what she'll tell you is a ball that she should have come up with right through the hands.
Audrey Lampy. The libero will serve. Up four. To the outside they go, and a big swing from Kennedy Berger. Well, she hit that hard. That was right in front of us, and she put a lot on that one. Lampy serving for Mauder Day up five. Coach Rockers and his team in complete command now, even though he watched that ball sell way out of bounds. Winner gets either Rockford Lutheran or Decatur St. Teresa tomorrow for the 2A state title. You'll watch it right here on the NFHS Network. Timmerman so smart. Sometimes setters overuse that little center touch play, but she doesn't do it maybe once a set. And when she does it, it works. Worked in the first set also. Lead is back up to five. And this is Riley Sudolt serving. The outside they go. Well, Heskey had to take something off that as she mistimed her jump. Sold out with a great dig, or make that Lampy with a great dig, and Touche back the other way with Riley Stahl. Defensive specialists are playing well here today. Well, Heskey goes down the line, and that'll be a point. Ball was in. Checking into the game for St. Joe's Ogden will be Jenna Albrecht, 5'7", senior. Serving is Sudo. Outside they go to Burnett. She is blocked. Timmerman. Modern day pulling away, closing in on a state championship appearance. Burnett couldn't get a lot on that one, but it was placed perfectly. Modern day was under Chad Rockers. Was here in 2014. They finished third. They won it all in 2011. And when they get to the semifinal, more times than not, they win that semifinal match, which is their kind of their calling card. We're going to get there. We're going to get to the final, especially over the last several years. Ball's pushed deep, and that is in. Nicely done from Caitlin Berry. It's 18 to 14, a 3 0 run now by St. Joe's Ogden. No timeout yet for Coach Rocker. Of the last five times Modern Day's been here, three times they've won this game, so majority of the times. Burnett sends it over. She'll get the kill as the ball was hit at the net by Riley Kleber. And no one was there to back her up. And there's the timeout from Coach Rockers. 4 nothing run. Yeah, you'll call a timeout. But still a very comfortable lead for modern day as they are on top one set to nothing and in the second set by a score of 18 to 15. Right here right now is the slogan for St. Joe's Ogden. 2018 last year they were ranked number one for a lot of the season but they according to coach McDonald peaked too early. And this year when they come out in their warm-ups, the players all have their own special slogans on their shirts. Right here, right now is where they're at, but right here, right now is where they need to run. Because they are down by three and down a set. <laughs> Serving will be bigger.
Nice job by Stahl with a dig. And Burnett will get another kill. For Kennedy, that's number nine. That ties her with Moheski of modern day for the most in this match. Eighteen sixteen, a five nothing run now, and Moheski hits that just in. And you need a point. It's a pretty good idea to go in the direction of Tori Moheski, who might be the best sophomore in this tournament. She's really good. A oh, wonderful effort from Audrey Lampy, but then she bumped into one of her teammates and they couldn't locate the ball. 1917. These girls from St. Joe's Ogden just will not go away. And again, you need a point, you go to number three. Number 11 for Tori Moheski. Riley clever to serve. Helmkamp with that big left hand. Great effort from Burnett to keep it alive. And that is out. Moheski misfires. Tried to go cross courts. Again, if you're the Lady Knights, you want to finish this now. You do not want to give St. Joe's Ogden a third set. Timmerman goes back set. Helm camp and a good dig by Burnett. And that is in. That should be a point for St. Joe's Ogden. It is. And they are within one. St. Joe's Ogden's numbers are going up. They're now hitting 180. But do they have enough time? And someone was in the net. I think that someone was Lacey Kaiser. And St. Joe's Ogden had an easy return, and they were setting up for a, an attack. Oh, a big mistake. Moheski sends it across. Bad pass. I Means St. Joe's just has to send it over. When neither team into their offense on this point. But then Modern Day recovered. They stayed patient and they were able to find Maya Helmkamp. Back to back points and now some breathing room for the Lady Knights. Right in between the defenders goes Caitlin Berry. Valley back in the game to serve. Down two and down a set. And that will be a lift on Timmerman. Or maybe over the net, I believe they said. Nonetheless, a point for St. Joe's Ogden. And they've climbed back to within one. They've just had no answer for Helm Camp when she's on the right side. She has been devastating. That is her fifth kill. She's hitting 364. Abby Jamruck will serve for Modern Day. They need two points. A finish on the inside by Kaiser. St. 
And Joe Zogden back to within one. Here comes Kenley Taylor. Serving to try to tie this second set. And we are tied at 23. And another timeout taken by Coach Rockers. And he is letting his girls have it. They led 17 to 11, 19 to 16. And now St. Joe's Ogden has made it all the way back to even 23 23. The senior class from St. Joe's Ogden, they know what it's like to win a title. When they were seniors, they won the eighth grade state championship. And that same year, Prairie View Ogden, school that feeds into St. Joe's Ogden High School, finished third. So they've been in big matches before. But this is four years later for these seniors. Kenley Taylor serves for the lead. That is long. And St. Joe's Ogden has a set point. Do you believe this? This to force a third set. Timmerman with the set. And Timmerman set. It led Sally Albers under the net. That is a point for St. Joe's Ogden. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to set number three. The Spartans come to life. And we'll play one set. Winner take all here at Redbird Arena. At Busey, our story centers around you, your goals, and your dreams. You dreamed of owning your first home. You partnered with us to customize a plan. You started a business. You trusted us to guide you through the ups and downs. You wanted to leave a legacy. You allowed us to bring your dreams to life. Thank you for partnering with us to make tomorrow's dreams today's reality. Busey, your dream, our promise. It's not just the ships, the armor, or the aircraft. It's something more. It's the will to fight and determination to win found inside each and every Marine that answers a nation's call. Battles won. This is a Jimmy John sandwich, made with all natural meats, hand sliced veggies, and fresh baked bread. And this is the new Little John, available for only $3. They're almost identical. Almost. Good job. Okay. Back here at Redbird Arena, what more can you say about St. Joe's Ogden? They were down 17 11, went on a 14 6 run to finish that second set. And we're going to a third and final set. It's our third game down here today. This is the first time we've gone to three. Guess the experts were right. I polled about five or six people who follow high school volleyball closely, and they said, this one, going to be tight. It's a toss-up. And guess what? They were right. It has been tight. Go back to that first set. It was a 8-2 run by Breeze Modern Day that put them over the top, including a 5-0 run. And then they're in this last set, 14-6 run by St. Joe's Ogden. And that forced this third and final set here to decide who goes to the state championship tomorrow afternoon against either Rockford Lutheran or Decatur St. Teresa. Today's game is also available for all subscribers via mobile website. 
Log on to NFHSnetwork.com from your smartphone or tablet to view live games or replays from anywhere. Matter day hitting 149. Tori Moheski with 11 kills. She's hitting 208. Maya Helmkamp with five kills. For St. Joe's Ogden, hitting 206. Kennedy Burnett with nine kills, hitting 333. And Caitlin Berry hitting 308 with six kills. 21 assists for Emily Bigger, 25 assists for Jesse Timmerman. Two outstanding setters here today. Referees give the girls a little extra time when they go to a third set. Make sure they're rested. But energy will not be a problem. I guarantee you that. These two teams know what's at stake. Potentially a state championship. Modern day, on the right side of your screen in their navy jerseys, will be serving to St. Joe's Ogden on the left side of your screen in their maroon and blue jerseys. And here we go. And an opening kill for St. Joe's Ogden. They lead one to nothing. Lacey Kaiser, 5'10", senior. Fourth on the team in kills serving. Oh, and a big swing and finish by Riley Clever. I have a feeling this is the way this third set is going to go. Jesse Timmerman. And a kill in the first lead of this third set. Tori Moheski with the kill for Tori. That's number 12. And assist number 27 for Timmerman. Well, you like Timmerman's size. She's just a junior. 5'11 setters. College scouts have to be extremely interested in that young lady. But she's a really good basketball player as well. Job by Riley Stahl. And a point, back to back points, in fact, for the Spartans. They lead three to two. And that serve is way long. That's somebody that's amped up. That was Emily Bigger who got just a little too excited. That ball almost landed in the stands. Riley Clever will serve for Breeze Modern Day. St. Joe's will try again. Burnett with the kill. Kennedy Burnett into double figures with 10 now. And she will serve. And Moheski answers. Those two are going to go back and forth because they are going to get set up a lot here in this third set. If you're going to go down, you need to go down with your stars touching the volleyball. Moheski is the star for Modern Day. Burnett the star for St. Joe's Ogden.
Burnett doing a great job in the back. Longest point of the match up to this point. Helm Camp gets blocked. Good dig on the play by Beer. And that will be a lift on Timmerman. Point for St. Joe's Ogden. Well, that match took about a minute, or that point, rather, took about a minute to play. Five four, St. Joseph's Ogden. This is stall to serve. Good effort by Lampy, and the kill, Macy Beer. That's the second kill for Beer. And this is Jamrock serving for modern day, even at five, and that will be an ace. They sent it right at Kennedy Burnett. She taps her chest and says, my bad, should have done a better job with that. Let's see if they go right back to her. And they do. And another ace. Sometimes you'll see coaches go right at the other team's best player, and I'll bet you they go right back at her again, and they do. This time, the libero steps in. Quick set in the middle and a finish from Lacey Kaiser. Good adjustment there by Coach McDonald. She realized Burnett was having a little trouble, so Stahl came over and was able to field it. Stems the tide momentarily. This is Lindsay Aiden into the game. And that'll be an ace for Lindsay. 24th of the year. We're tied at seven. And that'll be a lift called against Valley. So the battle at the net goes to Brees Modern Day. First meeting of the year between these two teams. You would have thought with all the games they play and all the tournaments they play that they would have run into each other. But they have not. A block up front by Kleber. And a kill by Kleber. Off the set from Timmerman. Modern Day now stretches the lead to two. You see coach Chad Rockers pacing the sideline. Well, Clever is going to get another kill, though that one was fortunate as it looked like a carry but the official did not call it point for modern day and just like that they're up by three and just like that Abby McDonald the head coach of St. Joseph Ogden takes her first time out it's been a game of runs no doubt about it or a match of runs it was an 8-2 to two run by modern day to win the first set and a 14-6 run by St. Joe's Ogden to win the second set And here it's a 3-0 run by Modern Day that has them on top by three. Winner plays tomorrow at approximately 155 for the 2A state title against either Rockford Lutheran or Decatur St. Teresa. They play next. The 1A state title tomorrow will be Newark against the Illini Bluffs. That music you hear coming from your microphone is the, or here a speaker on your computer rather, is the St. Joe's Ogden fans. Very active student section.
and some confusion between a couple of the girls. Stahl and Barry both called it. Neither one of them backed off. And that'll be another ace. And it's now a 4 nothing run. Can't make mistakes like that in a crucial point at this point in a crucial match. Valley was blocked. This time she'll just push it over. And no communication from Brees Modern Day. And that ends the 4-0 run. Seen that a couple of times. Can't yell at each other, can't get on each other at this point of the match. You just got to say, that's just a point. Let's go on to the next one. Good swing, and this is when St. Joe's Ogden usually strings together some points because Kennedy Burnett is up top on the left side, and she is so good from that spot on the court. Oh, uh, the dink was covered by Barry. But Bigger couldn't take that chance, so she went after it. And that gives the point to Breeze Modern Day. Suldo serving up three. Suldo with a dig. Burnett with the dive. That ball is out. Hit the tape and bounced outside. Moheski, a rare error. She's got 13 kills, hitting 214. Burnett trying to keep pace with her. She's got 11 kills, hitting 348. Going to go to Burnett again? Nope. They will now. And they feed her again. Block that time. That was clever. This time she goes over the double block of Timmerman and clever. And just in front of the dive from Gabby Jamrock. Kaiser serving 11-12. And that's a way to stem the tie. Get the ball inside to Riley Clever. The sophomore has been hot on the inside. That is her seventh kill, hitting 375, making the most of her opportunities. Timmerman, modern day's best server, sends it over. Oh, you don't block Kennedy Burnett very often, but they did there. Clever with the block. Oh, great pancake effort by Timmerman. Clever was able to get her hand on it, but no one else could get it over the net. Nice work on the inside there. That was number 12, Emily Bigger with the point. And now she serves. And that will be a double hit. So just like that, St. Joe's Ogden closes to within one. This is what they do. They just hang around and hang around and eventually sneak up and get you. Timmerman to Moheski and a dig in the back there from Taylor. Not this time. What a swing from Kennedy Berger. Evenly matched, no doubt about it. These two teams. Very similar to each other from the back. Burnett not able to get the kill. 
Lasky punches it up. Now she'll try to finish off the point. And she does. No, she does not. That was a block, but it was just out of bounds. Not by much. Burnett will serve down one for St. Joseph Ogden. And she serves it into the net. Heskey. Good serve received there by Valley. And another dink over the top. Modern day has some excellent blockers, so St. Joe's Ogden had to resort to using a lot of dinks, and it's been very effective. Riley Stahl will serve. Helm Camp. And it's dug out of there by Burnett. What a play. That ball is long, and it was not touched, I do not believe. Point for Modern Day. Valley just put a little bit too much on that. And that'll be a point again. Burnett's having a tough time with the serve receive. And they will go right back that way, up by three. Moheski, it's out. Boy, this is as close as a match can get. One point lead goes to two, back to one. St. Joe's has not been able to get over the hump. They've only led once at one to nothing. A great effort by Riley, or make that, yeah, Riley Stahl ends up being a point for St. Joe's. And there they are back to within one. Riley Stahl, a super play, sliding on the ground. Quick set in the middle. Nice dig by Jamrock, but her teammates can't track it down, and we're tied at 18. It's our first tie since it was 5-5. Five to five. Valley to serve for the lead. And St. Joe's Ogden has taken the lead. Four consecutive points by the girls in maroon. And Coach Chad Rockers takes a timeout. His girls led 18 to 15, and now they're down 19 to 18. What did we say moments ago? Especially this match has been a game of runs. That's exactly what it has been. The Lady Knights were in control, up three and serving. So state championships for modern day in 1978, 93, 94, 95, 2001, 2010, and 2011. That's seven in all. That, my friends, is impressive. St. Joe's Ogden with just one volleyball trophy that came in 2016. This is their third trip here. Mike Tremme in 2001 brought them to the Elite Eight. And they lost their first match, but they went 28-6 and six that year. Timmerman goes. Quick set. Finish from Albers. Audrey Lampy serving 1919.
Burnett from the back. Miss hit it, and it's a kill. Ball came off the right side of her hand. Kind of a knuckleball. Great effort by Modern Day, but a kill. For Burnett, that's number 13. That ties her with Tori Moheski of Breeze Modern Day. Kenley Taylor will serve up one. Great effort by Jamrock on the dive. A block in the middle from Kaiser. And the finish by Timmerman. 20 all. St. Joe's Ogden 36 and 4. Modern day 30 and 9. Winner plays for the state championship. And a receive air again by Burnett. And Sudol has had a lot of success serving today. Up one. And they let that one go wide. They went after Burnett again, and that time it hurt him. Tell exactly where Sudol was going. And a smart play by Kennedy to let that ball sail out of bounds. Lacey Kaiser now will serve 21-21. Moheski hits it through the block. Modern day back on top. And this is the girl, modern day, once serving. Jesse Timmerman. 55, or make that 38 aces on the year. Chance here for St. Joe's Ogden. This will be Burnett. That ball never made it over. Point for modern day, and they're two away now. And a timeout taken by Abby McDonald. Her girls led 20 to 19, but Modern Day has responded following a timeout they took moments ago, and they're back on top and two points away from playing for the state championship tomorrow. Didn't take long for those girls to get the message from Coach McDonald. She basically just said, we're still all right, let's go. And they walk right back out of the court. Coach Rockers using this timeout to its full extent. 25-20 and set one for Modern Day. 25-23, set two for St. Joe Ogden. Now it's 23-21, Modern Day, in the decisive set. These guys could play 10 sets, and each one of them would be close. Here's Timmerman. Trouble for St. Joe's. And Taylor will just have to send it over. We have match point. Timmerman to serve to send her girls to the state championship game. Burnett will try to have something to say about it. And she will. It is in point for St. Joe's Ogden. It's a six to one run. A turn this thing in the favor of Modern Day. And again, another match point. That's out of bounds. And Modern Day is going to play for the state championship tomorrow. What a match between two very good, evenly matched teams here in Class 2A. 25-22.
in the decider for modern day. We'll be back with our final thoughts and final numbers as the Lady Knights are celebrating their way into the state championship tomorrow. All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. Well, it's what you want it to be. I mean, if you come in with the right attitude, you can make it a career. Uh, well, first of all, all the benefits. Uh, the pay, of course. I can't be put, you know, I like working. I like being outdoors and working, so I think that's a big plus for me. The money I make, I've been able to go on vacations when I want to and buy a new car and... It's not just the ships, the armor, or the aircraft. It's something more. It's the will to fight and determination to win found inside each and every Marine that answers a nation's call. Battles won. The 2019 IHSA Volleyball Championships are brought to you by Country Financial. Preparing for your financial future doesn't have to be complicated. Take it one simple step at a time at takesimplesteps.com. Busey Bank. Your dream, our promise. And by Liuna, proud partner of the IHSA. For more information, visit liunacareers.org. We're back here at Redbird Arena. We just watched a good one. Modern day from Breeze, Illinois. Defeated St. Joseph Ogden in three. It was tight. It was intense. And each team won their games or sets because of late runs. An 8-2 run in the first set. Gave Modern Day that victory. And then in the second set, it was a 14-6 run by St. Joe's Ogden to force the third set. And then a 6-2 run down the stretch gave Modern Day the victory and a chance to play for their eighth state championship. And when they go to championship games, they've done it now nine times. They're 7-1 and one in state championship appearances. So think about that. Tomorrow's opponent, I'm sure, will sleep on that, knowing that when Modern Day gets there, they usually finish the job. Some final numbers in this one for St. Joe Ogden. They hit 204. Their best player was Kennedy Burnett, as usual. 14 kills, hit 265. Eight kills for Lacey Kaiser. Seven for Caitlin Berry. And six for Peyton Valley. For Modern Day, Tori Moheski hit 176 with 14 kills. Nine for Riley Kleber. Five for Maya Helmkamp. Sally Albers had five. A total of 38 assists for Jesse Timmerman, 32 assists for Emily Bigger. But modern day will live to fight another day. They will play for the state championship tomorrow against the winner of our next game, Rockford Lutheran and Decatur St. Teresa. Your final score from Redbird Arena in the Class 2A semifinals, Breeze modern day, 25-20, 23-25, 25-22 over St. Joe's Ogden. Thanks for listening to IHSA Volleyball on the NFHS Network.